Hello students, welcome back to our channel Learn From Experts. I am Ayush Agarwal and today we will gonna learn about natural indicators of chapter acid bases and salts of class 7. This is part 2nd of this chapter as it is totally linked with the previous video which is the basics of acid bases. If you haven't watched it, you can click on the i button. So before coming to our today's topic, let me ask you questions to check what you have learned in the previous video. Tell me what is the taste of acids? Sour or bitter? Very easy. The answer is sour. For example, lemon, oranges, right? So tell me the next question. What are basic food items? Have you remembered? Very good. So the answer is almonds, bitter gut, broccoli, right? Isn't it very easy? Alright, how many of you have given the correct answers of both questions? Tell me in the comment section. So let us move to our today's topic. Till now we have learned how to identify the nature of an edible item. But what about non-edible items? There are multiple non-edible items that are available on planet earth. Then how can we determine their nature? Can you name some items that you cannot taste? Try answering this question. Yes, like laboratory chemicals, detergents, soaps. There are multiple things that you cannot taste. Still we know the nature of these substances. Then how is it possible to determine their nature? Have you ever think about it? Isn't it very interesting question? Yes, so does our today's topic that is indicators and that of natural indicators. In our syllabus, we have three type of natural indicators. First one is litmus paper. Second is turmeric powder. And third one is china rose. Alright, so we will understand each of them one by one. Natural indicators help us to find out the nature of an unknown substances. So first let us take litmus paper, the most commonly used natural indicator. You will also find litmus paper at your chemistry lab. To check how does litmus paper work, let us take unknown substance that is lime solution. Do you know what is the nature of lime solution? Right, very easy, acidic, right? So let us do an activity. First we will take lime solution and a blue litmus paper. We will dip the litmus paper into a lime solution. Do you observe any change in the last step? Yes. Actually blue turns red when dipped into a lime solution. Right. So this is the property of litmus paper. When added to an acidic solution, it turns red. It is indicating red color for acidic solution right and when added to a basic solution it turns blue all right this is very important point it is also most commonly used natural indicator must is also available in solution form and do you know it is extracted from lichens here it is lichens it is made by symbiotic process of algae and fungi all right so we have learned about how litmus paper reacts to an acidic solution and to a basic solution. You can learn it in this way. Blue turns red by acid and red turns blue by base. Right? If you have given a chance, you can try at your school also. So let us check what you have learned about litmus paper. Give me answer of this very easy question. If we dip red litmus paper to the soap solution, then what will happen? Have you answered? The correct answer is red turns blue. Alright, any doubts? No? Very good. So let us move to our next natural indicator that is turmeric powder. This is very commonly used in your household purposes. We will do one activity. Through this we will try to understand how turmeric paper works as a natural indicator. First we will take turmeric powder. Then we will make it a paste. Then we apply this paste onto a paper to make a turmeric paper. All right, we will take a cotton bud dipped in a soap solution and then you can also write your name. Do try this activity at your home. Do you know you can send secret messages to your friends also. So try sending secret messages to your friends after this video. All right, so let us come to our topic. After we have written our name on turmeric paper, do you observe any change? Of course, here we can see that the orange color actually turns red but the question arrives why the color of turmeric paper changed the answer of this question is very easy turmeric paper in acidic solution 
gives yellow color and turmeric in basic solution gives red color so let us check what the statement states soap contains sodium hydroxide which is a base it is very important point that turmeric contains a mild acid right so whenever soap solution is added to the turmeric paste it will give reddish brown color is it all okay to you any doubt so this is all about turmeric let us check what you have learned about turmeric paper by answering a very simple question tell me which pair is correct try answering it so let us check the answer so the answer is first one turmeric paper in a soap solution turns red color as we have discussed in previous slides all right so we have covered two natural indicators of our syllabus and let us move to our last natural indicator that is china rose let us understand it through an activity what we have to do first we have to take china rose then dip it in warm water till water becomes colored and the color of the water will become light pink as it is visible in this picture third and the last step is take lime solution in a tube then drop four five drops of indicator into a lime solution then what will you observe you will observe that color changes into dark pink do you know why let me tell you because it is the nature of a china rose china rose indicator turns acidic solution to dark pink all right and basic solution to green as it is given in the picture have you understood about the nature of china rose okay very good can i check what you have learned all right so the question is fill in the blanks first one is china rose turns acidic solution to dash as we have just discussed that china rose turns acidic solution to dark pink the second one is china rose turns basic solution to what have you remembered yes very good so the answer is green and the first one is dark pink if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so this is all about today's topic in this video we have discussed about the natural indicators and how does natural indicators reacts to acids and bases all right so it is time to check what you have learned in this video give me answers of some very easy questions right so first question is what is the source of litmus paper have you answered so the answer is lichens litmus paper is extracted from lichens all right okay so next question is what is the nature of turmeric solution let us check the answer the nature of turmeric solution is mild acidic these are very easy questions let me ask you quite difficult one so here it is if x is added to china rose and its color changes into green then what is the nature of x can you guess the nature of x solution very good the answer is x is a base how many of you have given the correct answer let me know in the comment section as you can see in this picture that basic solution is green in color so this is all about today's video as our today's topic is very practical in nature so i have tried to provide you the knowledge through an activity basis it might help you to understand quite easily if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will give the answer of every question all right so you can also self evaluate yourself at your home what do you have to do you have to take five household products and through litmus paper you need to check how these products are reacting to the litmus paper and depending upon their change in color you can differentiate those products into acidic and basic products right so this is all about today's topic in next topic we will learn about what will happen if we mix acidic and basic solution into each other thank you for watching this is ayush agarwal signing off